Hello and welcome to another episode of Indie Mogul Extra, where we take you inside the technology of independent filmmaking. My name is Steve Nelson and now a lot of people know a blue screen can work wonders for the independent filmmaker, but simply hanging a blue screen from your ceiling is not enough to bring your viewer to your desired location. We use a large blue screen for our backdrop, but you can use a big piece of cardboard with one solid color painted on it. Or you can just use the clean sheets that, you know, you never really put on your bed. Or if mom and dad are cool with it, you can paint an entire wall blue. Any solid color will work, but blue and green are the most preferred because they're not in our skin tone, and unless you're some kind of lizard freak, and if that's what you are, you really shouldn't be making movies anyway, right? Now after your blue screen is set up, it's time to let the light shine in. Your best bet is to invest in a few 150 watt clamp lights. They're only about eight bucks, and they're available at any local hardware store too. But if you don't have time to run to the store, then a collection of lamps from every room in your house should do the trick. Make sure to not only light your actor, but also the blue screen to eliminate any shadows. Because shadows are bad, like ball cancer. Now once you have all your footage shot, bring it into your editing program. For doing this kind of level of effects, we'd really recommend Final Cut Pro for Macs and Adobe Premiere for Windows. But, you know, if you have an editing program that can just do multiple layers of video, that might end up working out for you. On the bottom layer, normally referred to as V1 or Video 1, you should drop in the still image or the video you wish to be your background. And in the V2 layer, drop in your blue screen footage that you just shot. After editing your footage to the desired location for your ins and outs, it's time to get rid of the blue screen. In Final Cut, it's effects, video, filters, and then key. In Adobe, it's effects, transparency, and then chroma. And now it's just a matter of messing around with all the values to eliminate, you know, the blue from it, but not cutting off any parts of your actor. And there you have it, the kind of special effects magic that can get you laid. Or at least an HJ. Thanks for watching Indie Mogul Extra. Make sure to tune in next week for some more awesome behind the scenes. Stuff.